Spatio-temporal land cover changes in Wasa Amenfi East and Upper Denkyira East districts of Ghana. Abstract land cover changes have become critical element in global environmental studies. Changes in land cover plays a major role in most of the environmental problems seen today. For this reason, modeling and projecting land cover changes is essential for the management and monitoring of our natural resources. The Wasa Amenfi East and Upper Denkyira East districts in Ghana have experienced extensive land cover changes for the past 11 years, mostly due to small-scale and illegal mining activities and accelerated urbanization. This study therefore sought to identify and quantify the land cover changes in the study areas. The procedures used in this study include converting digital numbers, DN, to radiance values and reflectance, classifying satellite images using supervised, maximum likelihood, method. Ground truth observations were performed to check accuracies of the classified land cover classes. Results showed that substantial areas of forest cover vanished during the period of study which may be due to rapid urbanization, small-scale and illegal mining activities in the study areas. In the Upper Denkyira East District, farmland and urban experienced an increase of 41% and 33% whilst the forest and water bodies decreased by 93% and 8% respectively. Also, in the Wasa Amenfi East District, the urban and water bodies increased by 130% and 108%, respectively, whilst farmland and forest also decreased by 8% and 11%, respectively. Keywords Wasa Amenfi East, Upper Denkyira East, Spatio-Temporal Land Cover Changes I Introduction over the years land cover of Wasa Amenfi East and Upper Denkyira East districts of Ghana have undergone significant changes. Human activities such as small-scale and illegal mining, galamsey, activities, farming and rural urban migration have led to these changes. The study of land cover changes is therefore important for proper planning, utilization, management and monitoring of the natural resources 1, 2. Land is the most important natural resource on which all human activities depend on 3, 4. Land cover change is also regarded as the most important variable of global change affecting ecological systems 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The high spatial variability in land cover type biophysical and socio-economic drivers of land cover change around the world result in the variability in the causes and process of land cover change 13, 14. Literature indicates that demographic changes account for land cover changes more than any other process 15, 16. Others indicate the superiority of economic factors to be the major contributing factor 11. Some socio-economic factors of land cover change include Poverty, tenure, insecurity, and availability of market and credit facilities 17, 18, 19. Human beings, consciously or unconsciously create pressure on land in their attempt to get the maximum benefit of the land. These pressures may take the form of either conversion or modification of the land cover 8, 11. Land conversion can more easily be measured and monitored than modification in the composition within the land cover category 8. Wasa Amenfi East and Upper Denkyira East districts have undergone changes in land cover over the years due to mainly small-scale and illegal mining, Galamse, activities, figures 1 and 2, and rural urban migration 20. These migration and illegal mining activities put pressure on the land of these districts, because new buildings and infrastructure have to be put up to accommodate the increasing population. Also, Illegal miners dig parts of the land in search for gold and other minerals, figure 3. These adversely affect the land cover in the districts, hence the need to assess the impact of this changes in order to properly manage the environment. 2. Materials and Methods Study Area, Wasa Amenfi East District was carved out from Wasa Fias Mbahor District in 1988. The district forms part of the 22, 22, Metropolitan municipal and districts in the western region of Ghana. The administrative capital is Wasa Akropong, which is 6.7 km from the Cape Coast Takoradi Main Road. The district shares boundaries with Mbahor District to the west, 
to the east with Twifo slash Heman slash Lower Denkyira and Twifo Ati Makwa and to the south with Shama District and Komenda slash Adina slash Iguifo slash Abiram Municipal 20. The district lies between latitudes 5 degree 30 N and 6 degrees 15 minutes north and longitudes 1 degree 45 minutes west, and 2 degrees 11 minutes west. The Upper Denkyira East District is one of the 20, 20, administrative districts of the central region. The administrative capital is Dunkwe Anafan. It lies within latitudes 5 degree 30 N and 6 degree 0 2 N of the equator and longitudes 1 degree W and 2 degree W of the Greenwich Meridian. It shares common boundaries with Adonsai South in the north, Asan North Municipal in the east and Twifo Atimakwa District in the west and Upper Denkyira West District in the northwest 20. Materials, in this study, data used include, Landsat 7 satellite images from the United States Geological Surveys. USGS, website using the Global Visualization Viewer, Glovis, a shape file of Wasa Amenfi East and Upper Denkyira East Districts, Table 1, and Ground Truth coordinates were obtained from the field using a Garmin handheld GPS receiver. Before image data can be processed and analyzed, various pre processing routines appropriate to the desired output must be applied to the imagery. These pre-processing routines enhances the quality of the image data by reducing various radiometric and geometric errors that arises due to both internal and external factors 21. Geometric correction procedures are applied to rectify errors in the relative position of pixels due to factors such as variation in altitude, attitude and velocity of the sensor platform, earth curvature, panoramic distortion, relief displacement and non-linearities in the sweep of a sensor 21. Radiometric correction on the other hand is performed to correct the data for sensor irregularities and unwanted sensor or atmospheric noise. Methods, in standard comparative analysis of multi-temporal images acquired on different dates and by different sensors, radiometric calibration is important. Every sensor has its own calibration parameters, data acquired from the Landsat Itman sensor were subjected to various routines. The various bands were extracted and converted from digital numbers, DN, to radiance. The output feature classes, radiance, were then converted to reflectance for further analysis. Figure 4 shows a summary of the various steps undertaken. The Landsat Enhanced Thematic Mapper Plus, ITM Plus, satellite sensor records reflected energy from the surface of the Earth and stores them in digital numbers. This raw data encoded in 8 bit format corresponding to 256 DN levels, cannot be used directly for analyzing the land covers or surfaces. In order to make spatio-temporal analysis digital numbers of the data were converted to their corresponding radiance 22, 23, 24, 25. Digital numbers were converted using equation 1. Where L equals spectral radiance at the sensor's aperture. Gain equals rescaled gain the data product gain contained in the level 1 product header or ancillary data record, or, LMAX LMIN, slash 255. Bias equals rescaled bias, the data product offset contained in the level 1 product header or ancillary data record. QCAL equals the quantized calibrated pixel value in DN. LMIN is the spectral radiance that is scaled to Kalman in MWCM2SR1. Kalman is the minimum quantized calibrated pixel value, corresponding to LMIN, in DN. Calmax is the maximum quantized calibrated pixel value, corresponding to LMAX, in DN. The reflectance value can be obtained by converting radiance to top of atmosphere, TOA, reflectance using equation 2. Where? Equals reflectance as a function of bandwidth. D equals Earth-Sun distance correction equals radiance as a function of bandwidth equals mean solar exoatmospheric spectral irradiance s equals solar zenith angle in degrees in order to extract the satellite images of the study area a shape file of the study area was used as a mask with foreknowledge of the study area homogeneous areas called training samples were digitized into classes these training samples were then used to perform supervised classification using the maximum likelihood algorithm, as shown in Table 2. 
Table 2 Land Cover Classes Land Cover Classes Detailed Composition Urban Slash Barren Land These includes all residential and commercial complexes. Transportation, communications, and utilities mixed urban or built up land, bare exposed rock, and disturbed ground at building sites. Farmland slash grassland. These includes cropland, pasture, other agricultural and grassland. Forest slash dense shrubs. Evergreen, deciduous, and mixed forests. Water bodies. Lakes, streams. Accuracy assessment. A set of ground control points were obtained from ground truthing. These control points though obtained using selective sampling method, adequately represented the diverse land cover classes within the study area. The points were plotted and were assigned their respective classes. Upon performing the supervised classification, a statistical accuracy assessment was performed. The overall classification accuracy of the study was 85.45% as presented in Table 5. Anderson ETL 26 stated that accuracies of 85% are required for land use data for resource management. The overall accuracy was calculated using Equation 3 7, 18, 22. Equation 3 The training pixels with the ground truth data was measured using Kappa coefficient technique. The kappa values are in range of plus 1.0 to minus 1.0, high positive value indicates high accuracy and vice versa. A value of zero kappa coefficient indicates no correlation in the classification. The kappa coefficient is calculated from equation 4 7, 18. Where? Equals total number of pixels. P equals total number of classes. Equals total number of elements in confusion matrix. O equals sum of row I. O equals sum of column I. The kappa coefficient obtained from this study was 0.92 which shows high accuracy. 3. Dot results and discussion. Results, 4 land cover classes were identified. The total areas for each class are shown in tables 3 and 4. Figures 5 and 6 show the land cover classes for Upper Denki Ira East in 2007 and 2018 respectively. Also, figures 7 and 8 show the land cover classes for Wasa A. Menfi East in 2007 and 2018 respectively. From Table 3, in the Upper Denki Ira East District, the study revealed an increase in the urban area from 39.523 square kilometers in 2007 to 92.049 square kilometers in 2018 and decrease of forest cover from 186.666 square kilometers in 2007 to 13.177 square kilometers in 2018. From Table 4, in the Wasa A. Menfi East District, the study also observed an increase of 130% in the urban area from 2007 to 2018, while the forest area decreased by 11% from 2007 to 2018.